I'm going to give you a quick demo of how to set, set up MLRV to work either with your OM64 or your block. Uh, for this demo, I'm using a block. You're going to need to download MLRV. It's a free download, uh, but you do need either max MSP or just max runtime, which is free to run it. So after you have it downloaded and all the files in the right place, make sure you read the README because there's a couple files you need to put in your library. Um, just go ahead and open it up and I'll show you. Now that it's open, there's really only a few things you need to do just to get started. Um, first, you need to set up your preferences to whichever controller you're using. I'm using the block here, so I need to, under device, select livid. And then under input and output, uh, select block controls. If you're using the OM64, it's just going to say OM64 controls. Um, so that's really all you need to do to get it started to make it communicate with your controller. Um, I'm just going to show you a real quick couple of basic things here to get started. Um, I have some audio files here, they're, they're drum tracks, um, and what I'm going to do is just drop them in here, and you can see how easy it is just to start playing around with the uh, application. So basically you have four different groups um, and I have seven tracks in here. So I can have either one track be four different loops or one track be one loop, uh, and then the second group third group, fourth group. I'll show you how that works. The first column here uh, turns the groups on and off. Um, to start a loop, I just press a button. And you can see how I have it started here. Um, since they're all in the same group, which is group one, um, I can only play one at a time. But I can jump in between them. And this will turn it off. So if I want to play them all at the same time, I need to set them to different groups. So here we go. They change color. You know they're in different groups. It's group one, two, three, and four. So I can go ahead and press them all at the same time. And we'll all play together. To turn them on and off. Um, I can just turn the this first column here. I can just turn these four on and off. So now they've stopped playing. Um, but I can start from anywhere uh, in the loop. Um, so I can... One of the real cool things I like about this is the ability to record um, different segments. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, arm the recording, which are these two buttons here. Um, there's two different uh, recordings. I think you can set up to four. I'm only going to do two right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and start. So you see when it's blinking, it has a, a loop recorded into it and it plays it. If I turn this off, it'll just keep playing. But I can turn it back on. And I can also go ahead and play another group with it. Um, just to show you kind of how this works, um, I'm going to record another loop. So I'm going to arm this one and I can go ahead and turn this one on with it. stop playing it. Once I've stopped playing it, I can see they're still loaded in there so I can turn them on and off at any point. Uh, to completely stop them, um, I need to turn everything off and by holding it down for a few seconds, it clears it out of there. This is the basics to get you started. There's a lot of cool features it has uh, with speed, um, controller mapping. I can map all the knobs on my block to control the, the volumes, the master volume. Um, this is really just breaking the surface of it. So uh, a lot of people were kind of confused on how to get it set up. Well, this is a real basics. It should get you going, and I look forward to seeing what people do with it.